here. Now, before I get into the bulk of this video, if you do want to pick up a copy of Cricket Coach 2014 for yourself, use the link down below in my description for an exclusive 10% discount. Right, guys, today we are back. We're playing some more T20 cricket, taking on Zimbabwe. This is the second of two T20 internationals. We did really rip up a little bit last time around. It was our fast bowlers that got the job done, the likes of Adam Milne. James Fuller as well took six for 15. That has to be some kind of record when it comes to T20 cricket, but... In saying that, even though our bowling is still doing fairly well, our batting and I guess our all-rounders really do start to, well, they seem to be aging. And we don't really seem to have anyone stepping up uh, willing, I guess, to come in and fill the void, shall we say. And that is a little bit of a concern because, you know, we've got Kupto, we've got Nisham, we've got Williamson. Watling's getting on. I think he's about 37 now in the game. Um, so he's only got a couple of years left in him. So it is, it is very concerning that there are no young guns that are coming through. I mean, our bowlers are getting the job done, and we don't really need, I guess, you know, that explosive batting lineup that one day we could have needed as Milne comes in, actually grabs a hat-trick just like that, and he's got four for five off his first two overs. Zimbabwe, eight for four, and this is just an absolute demolition derby for a, a lack of a better word. So hopefully we're going to keep going. I kind of want uh, Milne to get in and try and nab a 5 for 4 for 5. That would have to be probably one of the best T20 innings I've seen uh, to date so far. But 20 for 5 are 4 overs. So the run rate's not even that good. Milne is just continuing to steam in. He's got another. He's got 5 for 5. And all of a sudden, Milne has just become an absolute incredible, incredible threat when it comes to T20 cricket. I mean... Chicken Bora, he's the only guy who's really sticking in there. He is 10 off 2. He's hit a 6 and a 4, and he really does just need to face a few more deliveries. And Jacob Duffy's another one. Jacob Duffy's another one who didn't really get, uh, you know, too much game time. Hopefully Fuller can come in there and obviously pick things up. We're going to keep going with Milne, keep persisting with him, because we can go. We've got 7 for 13. This must be the best T20 innings, uh, well, bowling innings, I should say, that has been seen in a while. And I mean... Just an absolutely incredible display from Milne. 7 for 17 off 4 overs. I mean, that does not happen very often at all. So, the only issue I do have here is it's not giving us, obviously, a very big total to go and chase. But Chicken Bora could possibly go and change that around. He is seeming to be uh, a bit of a one-man show at the moment. But he has finally gone. Fuller has got him. Picks up his 18th wicket in his 10th. Or 11th, possibly, uh, T20 International. And the thing is, is that Fuller, he was struggling a little bit uh, towards, I guess, the start of his international career. But he picked up 6 for 15 in that last game. And we just rolled the Zimbabweans for 51, just like that. So it is going to be uh, pretty much a walk in the park from Guptill and Worker. I would like to go through this. I would love to go through no wickets down and get there, you know, I mean, chasing 50, it is a bit hard to judge really in a T20 international. Well, obviously, you don't need to go out and smash it because you do only require 50 runs. It's a very, very low total. But saying that, we have lost George Worker for 10. And performances, when it comes to test matches, because we just played some tests against England, two test match series, I believe. And um, te it's very important for the openers, you know, the likes of George Worker, uh, the likes of Guptill, not just to perform in tests, but to perform in one day as, as well. Because from memory, I think there's about five openers vying for two places at the moment. I've had to drop Tommy Latham down the order. He's batting at six most of the time, just so we can go and get him a bowl. But Adam Mill, man in the match, seven for 17. That is something you do not see uh, very often. And as we can see, Mill into the record book. Best I mean, what can you say? It has to be the best figures. 7 for 17. I was just speechless for a second. But uh, Zimbabwe also set, I was going to say, record books, dreadful total. Only the second lowest. That is incredible. So um, now that we do have a little bit of time, we will quickly go and have a look at all our rankings and all that stuff like that. So as you can see, top of the Test Championship by 40-odd points. So we'll definitely go and take that. Uh, when it comes to one day, there's a head there by 10 points against Ireland of all teams. Ireland are second. Scotland also round out. Oh, my God. What is going on here? I don't understand this. How, how is this 100? No, that's not even 100. That's 1,000. That is 1,000. That is... I do not quite know how that works. But um, anyway, we are top of the... And so top of bo uh, both Test and One Days and top of 
T20s as well. So we're doing pretty well. And just to have a quick look at the squad. So as I said, we are talking about aging players and players who are starting to get a little bit older. Obviously, Ross Taylor, BJ Watling, uh, Guptill's getting on there. Workers closing in on his 30s. Nisham will be in his 30s. We've got O'Donnell and Bracewell, who are slightly younger guys. But Bracewell, Southie, uh, McCone's getting on there as well. So there is plenty of aging talent in this New Zealand side. So really over the next couple of episodes, we are going to be looking to go and try and expand a little bit and bring in some new young faces, which really this tour of Zimbabwe would have been a great idea to do. But anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like. If you are new, please do subscribe. Make sure you go and check out my Facebook and Twitter links that can be found down below in the description. Hope you had a fantastic weekend so far. Make sure you tune in tomorrow. Cliffy's Champions League, round 10, getting closer and closer to the finals every single week. Make sure you do not miss that.